For it TV, the world is thinking. Well, here's me just in my spacesuit. This, it's really important for your spacesuit to be pressurized, as you can imagine, and it weighs probably 20 or 30 pounds. It's very uncomfortable, and the the cosmonauts who are rather big, they they sweat a lot inside these things. So there's a lot of talk about underwear. Your, your space underwear, and you go into the spacesuit, you take off your sweaty underwear, you dry it out, and so forth. For me, it was much easier. I actually fit into this stuff quite nicely. And here is another. This, this is, you see, so there's the guy on the left, and then there's that little shape there. That's one of those space seat liners, and your head fits on top, and so you're basically crouched in the fetal position in your spacesuit, very, very cozy. And I'm going to start taking questions in about five minutes, which means I can give really long answers. So I'm just going to show you some other highlights here. This is the, the dashboard, if you like. This is inside the escape capsule. And you'll see there are two screens, but they are... Most of you won't remember back to the days of DOS when everything was text and there were no pictures. That's what these screens are like. And every once in a while, you could see the ones and zeros. The software on these things is so ancient. It was like programming an IBM mainframe. But it was fun, and I learned a ton. So what else do we have here? I'm going to talk about my wilderness training. Here I am getting into the space capsule. So you, you go in and they pretend that the space capsule has dropped in the middle of the woods in the winter and you have to get out and take care of yourself in, in the winter. It includes warm clothes that they put inside the capsule. Here's me building a fire. The guys were off chopping down the trees and making logs. And here are the two guys. These, these were my two uh, teammates on this particular exercise. And at the end of the exercise, the trainers come up. Of course, they've been watching, even though they pretend you're in the wilderness. And they whisper to someone, you are going to break your leg. And so if, if the crew has been a good crew, they break the leg of the smallest person, which of course was me. If the crew is bad, then they break the leg of the biggest person, and the other two guys need to carry that person. So we were a pretty good crew. And each of these guys, I'm there in the middle, is thinking, I'm glad it was her and not the other guy. Here is our learning how to get rescued by a helicopter training. And here is our fall into the water training. <laughs>